lady yields back. The gentleman from Texas, Mr. Nels, is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I move to strike the last word. The gentleman's recognized. Folks, it appears to me that the, the gentleman who leads the ATF, the director of the ATF, is unqualified to do so, and let me explain why. Yesterday, the ATF director, Steve Dentelbeck, testified in front of our colleagues on the House Appropriations Committee. His poster board, there he is, that fella right there. When asked if he could define what an assault weapon was, I mean, it's been said several times on the other side, what an assault weapon was, Mr. Dettelbuck, the sole man responsible for leading an agency charged with enforcing the laws and regulations related to firearms in the United States of America, said, <laughs> I quote, unlike you, I am not a firearms expert to the same extent as you may be, end quote. Let me say that again. The man responsible, this fella right here, the man responsible for gun regulations of the United States of America said he is not the number one firearm expert in the room that day. Now tell me how that makes sense, folks. It makes no sense at all. So this non-expert, I will say he's a non-expert, this non-expert, Mr. Dettelbeck, introduced a final ATF rule in January which would reclassify pistols as short-barreled rifles if they have a stabilizing brace attached. This rule would also require American gun owners, many of who are veterans, to either register pistols with stabilization braces with the ATF, turn over those firearms, or face 10 years in jail. Yes, 10 years in jail. We don't give, that, we don't give murderers that with, in, the, in the justice system today. And up to a $10,000 fine. It is quite evident to me and everybody that watched that hearing yesterday that this man is not a firearms expert. He does not understand our disabled veterans and other Americans rely on these braces to use their firearms. He does not understand that this is an abuse of rulemaking authority. He does not understand our Constitution provides God-fearing Americans, many of us in this room, the right to bear arms. And I tell you, I'm a proud co-sponsor of this resolution today to repeal Mr. Dettelbeck's unconstitutional pistol brace rule and I urge, I urge my colleagues to do the same. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back. Thank the gentleman. Uh, Chair now recognizes the gentlelady from Georgia, Ms. McBath.